This question's quite a strong question. Oh, go on. Are you ready? Yeah. Can a fart kill you? I don't think I've said poo, fart, as much as I have today. I'm Dr. Chris, he's Dr. Zahn. And I'm Dr. Wrong, the third twin. We are at the Operation Ouch Food, Poo and You exhibition. So why are we here? Well, I have a roll of toilet paper with some stuff on it. Oh, son. But look, they're questions, you see. I've got lots of questions. Before we get on to that, did you know that you can watch every single episode of Operation Ouch on BBC iPlayer? Yes, yes of course we knew that. that. Ouch. Okay, let's get going. So on the first question. <clears throat> Why are poos brown? Brilliant question, <laughs> Dr. Chris. Now, it's because, correct me if I'm wrong here, Ronks. I will. When you break down your old, tired red blood cells, there's a little molecule in them called hemoglobin. You break that hemoglobin down in your liver and it flows out in your bile into your gut and it's the breakdown product of those red blood cells that end up turning your poo brown. That is so well done. Okay, next one. Let's see who can get this. Why do farts smell? Oh, me, 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 Well, me, surely me. it's so that we can all enjoy them. In case you didn't hear it, you get another go. Okay. Rocks. So, fart smell. And the smell of farts is dependent on what we eat and how the good and not so good bacteria in our gut digest the food we eat. And it's the smell of the products of that digestion which is the smell of our farts. But it's not little particles of poo. When you fart, it's yeah. not a cloud of poo, it's just different chemicals in the fart. Can we name some of the chemicals? Methane! The methane will be a little bit smelly, but it's the hydrogen sulfide Ooh. and the methanethiol and the bimacaptoethanol as well. You didn't ask for those, but there you go. <clears throat> How many times a day do you fart? Ooh. Now, I just learned this in the exhibition because I've never counted the number, and I think it was 30. So I don't think I do. It was your farts. fact on the wall. Oh dear. I I don't think I do 30 farts a day, but it again depends on what I I eat. have been on a crowded train oh. with Dr. Ronks, and I can tell you 30 would be an underestimate. Well, excuse when me. When you're eating your egg sandwiches. Next question, please. Okay. Why am I pooing so much? Well, that's a great question. That's I a mean, great every, you know what? Everyone's different, and because we don't often talk about poo, actually, people don't go, oh, I had a poo earlier, and then one at one o'clock in the afternoon. It's like people don't talk about it, so we don't really know. But, but, we some, should... but there are some medical conditions where if you have an infection, like particular viruses or bacteria, or sometimes if your gut's a bit inflamed, then you can start pooing too much. So if you're pooing lots of times a day, and it's very watery, or if there's blood in it, you should definitely go and see your doctor. But also if the pooing, if you're pooing and it's disturbing your day, I that's, think that's important a good, that's as right, well. Because that's, that's right. quite a nice barometer, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. If, yeah. You, if, you're, if you're pooing three times a day and it doesn't bother you, then don't worry about it too much. Exactly. What foods make you fart? This is someone who's clearly planning to take a long train journey with me. What foods make you fart? You know, Zand, you're always farting and they smell bad. It's it's the foods with lots of fibre in them because the fibre feeds the friendly bacteria that live in our colons and they produce gas as a waste product. So it's the smelly foods Beans. are foods that contain sulphur, so things like cabbages Beans. and broccoli. Beans, Beans make you vomit. They're quite sweet, sweet smelling. Oh, no, 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 mine are not ah, sweet smelling. Lentils, Ooh, um, lent any of those lentils. pulses will make you fart, and stone fruit Ooh. also make you a bit farty, but they mainly help you poop. Like cherries. I often find that if I eat a lot of cherries, Ooh, yeah, cherries. I'm going to the toilet a lot. Great. If you're a little slow, cherries will give you the cherry quick step. Why do, why do farts make a sound? Ooh. So that if they that. don't smell, you can still enjoy them by listening to them. Chris, how do we answer that question? Well, when they come out of your bottom, which is called your anus, they come out in, in little bubbles of air, and it's your, it's your, exactly. So it's, it's a bit like when you go with your lips, it's exactly the same thing. The lips are slapping open and closed very, very quickly, and it makes a little, lots, lots and lots of little, uh, anal plaques. Well, yeah, suppose. because it's, it's, it's you're forcing, you're basically forcing gas, air, through a tight, elastic hole. It's like whistling, yeah. but a different to whistling. It's not like whistling, it's like bottom whistling. It's like this. 
I hope that's answered your question. This question's quite a strong question. Oh, go on. Are you ready? Yeah. It's like a serious one. Oh. Okay. Can a fart kill me? No. Well, well, no. I was watching, this is true, I was watching Horrible Histories last night. Oh. And there was a story of a Roman who didn't want to fart in front of the emperor because he thought it would be rude and he died of holding his farts in. I, I don't know if it's true, it was in Horrible so Histories. It was in Horrible Histories! Listen, it was in Horrible Histories! If you are in a meeting with an emperor or another important person yeah, exactly. and you don't Even want to fart. just a regular if, member of the royal family if you or met, any other human that you if respect you met, If you met one of us and you didn't want to fart, it will not kill you to hold the fart in. And in fact, we will be very, very grateful if you ever meet us and you just don't fart. fart. Let it no, no, rip! No, no, just let, let it, go. it rip out! No, 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 no. Let the wind blow, wait, baby! Wait, 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 is there not any more? No, I haven't filled the whole roll. I've got to have something to wipe my bottom with later. Son. Those were great, great questions. Brilliant questions. If anything here has worried you at all, then definitely find a trusted adult to have a chat with. They do not be embarrassed to do it. Absolutely. And do not forget that you can watch more of us on BBC iPlayer. And if you're going to write important things down on toilet paper, just remember to tear it off before you wipe your bottom or everything gets very messy. I am warning you from personal experience. And bye.